guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you five tips on how you can improve your marriage today. Yes, that's right, today. I love simple tips and these five things can make you have a healthier marriage. So with that being said, let's get on into it. My first tip is to act out your spouse's love language once a day, at least. If you can do it more, that would be great. If you don't know what a love language is, I'll leave a little card right here. You can go check out the video real quick. But a love language is basically how you like to receive love. So knowing how the other person likes to receive love is so important. So my husband, Kyle, he loves acts of service. So if I make him a cup of coffee in the morning, he would love that. Now, if he woke up in the morning and thought I looked absolutely beautiful, Beautiful and told me how he felt, I would absolutely love that because my love language is words of affirmation. I love being complimented. That's how I feel loved the most. It's really important to find out your spouse's love language so you can be intentional each day about at least trying to act out their love language one time a day. So go watch that video on love languages if you guys haven't seen it yet. So my next tip is to pray together. If you're a Christian and you're a believer, pray to Jesus together. It is one of the most bonding experiences you will ever have and it can be awkward at first if you've never prayed together because it's awkward talking to someone like God so intimately with another person in the room but it is so important because God says when two or more people are gathered he will surely be there and just seeing your husband or wife pray and humble themselves before the Lord is so cool to see. Just knowing that God is in control of your marriage and that he will take care of your marriage and God is hearing your prayers and he wants to answer them. Praying together and spending that intimate time with Jesus will definitely grow your marriage. If your spouse doesn't feel comfortable praying with you, go ahead and ask how you can pray for them and also pray that your spouse becomes more comfortable in praying. Maybe you can say like, let's just do like a one minute prayer and I can pray. Just so you can get in the motions and feel more comfortable praying together. Even even if it's like a 30 second prayer, a prayer is a prayer and it bonds you together. So definitely ask how you can pray for your spouse. That is so important. Praying for protection over your spouse is definitely another way to grow your marriage and strengthen the health of your relationship. One of the most important tips that I received before getting married is to always go to bed together. Now, I know not everyone can do this because a lot of people have different schedules, but if you can, I think it is so important to go to bed together because it creates the opportunity for intimacy. And if one person's really tired and the other person isn't, just read a book. Just being in the same bed together, it's something comforting about spending time actually falling asleep together that makes you feel united. So when you don't go to bed with that person, it almost feels like your other half isn't there and you can't sleep as well. And I just don't feel right if I don't go to bed with Kyle. So I know that that definitely bonds relationships. And then another thing I like to have in bed is a no phone policy. So shut off your phone, turn it off. There's like a little sleep mode on iPhones that I always turn on at night. And so nobody can buzz me, no one can text me. There's some nights where we need to get better at this because if we're both tired, and we're just laying in bed scrolling. It's really not like we're being intentional about creating that intimacy. So that's one of my most important tips. And then the fourth tip is to set a date night. So you don't have to go on a date tonight, but if you can, that would be great. So say, okay, next Tuesday, we are going to get a sitter for the kids and we're going to go have dinner or go have a picnic or do something. So being very intentional about making a night that you go out to dinner or you do some Think together, try something new together every week. A lot of times dates can get pushed to the side, whether it be money or whether it be busyness, but I promise you going on a date together is the best investment that you can ever have in your marriage. It will make you so much richer in marriage, which in the end will produce more joy. So I would definitely be intentional about setting a date night. If you haven't already, make it a point to go home and talk to your spouse about setting a date night, a date day, a date hour, whatever it is, make it important and make it non-negotiable because investing in your marriage is the most important thing you can do. Now me and Kyle I'll have to be a lot better at this because we have put money in the way of going out, we've put busyness in the way of going out, and I definitely do notice when we aren't intentional about spending that quality time together, 
we either start to get in a little bit more arguments or things like that, then I'm just like, whoa, whoa, wait, we need to slow down and focus on each other. So definitely set a date night. My last tip is actually to have friends that uplift your marriage. Spending time with friends that uplift your marriage is so important and is really, really healthy. Stepping back from your marriage and having friends that you can talk with and friends that will uplift you and push you to strengthen your marriage is so important. If you don't have friends, start praying for them now. If you ask for friends, God will provide them for you. I've done that before and I know that he already has. And so just having either couple friends or friends that you can hang out with individually is so important for the health of your marriage. And you can do that today by either picking up the phone or going on a lunch date with a friend because sometimes friends can look at things from a different point of view. And if you have a friend that can be really open and honest with you, then that is so important. So just praying for a friend or being intentional about going to hang out with friends. I know it can be so easy to just hang out with each other in marriage, but honestly, it is really, really healthy to break away, go have friends, and then when you come back together, you're just going to be so much healthier. So that is my last tip. If you guys have a tip, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!